Starting a business during this time of economic uncertainty is hard, but that's exactly what two little girls decided to do. And Denver 7's Micah Smith found out their risk recently paid off after complete strangers gave them a big gift. A cheesecake filled ice cream cone with sprinkles to top it off. I can do it. This is more than a kid's tasty creation. It's a serious business venture. We started planning out um, it on paper. Our flavors and what we would do with our cones. 11 year old Desire Hawkins and nine year old Charlize Hawkins are the CEOs of Little Sisters Treats and the cheesecake cone is their specialty. The girls have business meetings. <laughs> they are serious about this thing. The sister's mom, Marita Hawkins, says the young entrepreneurs love doing research for their business. So while picking up a friend's birthday cake from Sugar Sisters Bakery in Castle Rock, Marita told the owner she wanted to bring her daughters to the store and show them some baking possibilities. And I took my girls over there and um, the employee, I said, hey, can you go get the sisters? I want them to meet my daughters, the Little Sisters treats. And the Sugar Sisters finally came out. The Little Sisters were in for an unexpected treat. They were like bawling and they just said, we've been trying to find you on Facebook. We've just been waiting for them to come in. Sugar Sisters owners Molly Witt and Rebecca Leiden say Marita's story about her daughter's business stuck with them. And they wanted to uplift these little girls who will face many challenges. These are two young black girls um, who want to own their own business. And with everything going on, we wanted to be authentic. Um, and then Becca texted me and was like, I have an idea. Why don't we give all of our COVID donation money to the girls? So after one month of searching for Zaire and Charlize, when they finally walked through the door. And we said, oh my gosh, you're here. We're so excited that you are here. The two sisters, the sugar, sugar sisters, sisters. Um, we just, it was just meant to be. Witt and Leiden gave Zaire and Charlize $1,015. And while mom screamed with excitement, Zaire and Charlize were a little more reserved, but just as grateful and excited about what this means for the future of Little Sisters Treats. We want to get a food truck we want to hire uh, other young girls. We want to inspire other children to be their own CEO. How does that make you feel to be your own CEO? Really like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting in Highlands Ranch, Micah Smith, Denver 7. A couple of girl bosses right there. The Sugar Sisters say many of the donations they received were for specific purposes or organizations, but the money they gave to the girls came from customers who left it up to the owners to find a way to help someone else.